Anna from Cadena Ser. I would like to ask about Madrid. What do you think about Real Madrid? You saw it first from Lisbon, now from uh, London. The uh, players in the center of the field with a cup. So, what do you, does Real Madrid inspire you? If I ask about it, we know Real Madrid is a very big club with a lot of history, with uh, big players. But we trust in what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to do a good match. And coming back to the question, Modric and Kroos are two big players that won everything in Real Madrid and they're an inspiration for everyone. Hello, Enzo. Over here, Melchor Riz from Cadena Cope. What are you most worried about Real Madrid and how do you face this match, bearing in mind that the second leg is in your field. Is this Real Madrid is, is scary because of what is done and seen it before Liverpool? I don't know if you saw the match more than once and what are your conclusions? What are you most worried about bearing in mind Real Madrid, especially bearing in mind the second leg? Afraid? Not. We're not afraid. Of course, there is respect because this is a football match and we know the quality Real Madrid half and the forward half, Vinicius, Rodriguez, Valverde, they have great quality, but we will try to contract them with our defenders and to have a great defending work and to have a, make a wonderful match. Hello, Enzo. I would like to ask about your transformation from the World Cup. Real Madrid is a team that has a lot of confidence. They never give up. It was an example in the qualifying round or the previous season, the way they got the qualifying rounds with the comebacks, which you saw in Argentina. And they had that resilience, that ability to come back after very complicated moments within the match. What does that give you to have it in a match like this one, on Champions League? What was that experience for you? Very good question. Adverse moments in football always exist. Matches in the World Cup gave me a lot of learning. You have to be strong, you have to have a clear head, and you have to look forward. Hulen did not tie up the match in the last few minutes and we played the overtime, but we were always focused. So I learned a lot from that, that you have to keep on moving forward and not backwards. So the World Cup gave me a lot of uh, lessons. I learned a lot and you have to be strong in adversity. So I learned a lot in the World Cup in that sense. Marcelo Dobal from Dosis Fubulea. This is going to be your first time playing in this pitch. You leave many things in just uh, from River to Benfica, from Benfica to Chelsea. You leave the lot in just uh, a few time. How's the pressure for you? How's the pressure from champions? So did you take away pressure in the World Cup? But he was saying a few days ago that he could feel that teams in the champions uh, were afraid. Is Chelsea afraid of not being able to have a result that would allow it to be alive for the second leg? I try not to have pressure in football, just to enjoy each match. I know that with responsibility for these matches, because this is a, a final phase, for me there's no pressure. I always try to enjoy and being afraid. No, you don't have to be afraid in football. You have to enjoy it. And let's hope tomorrow it's a big show. Hello, Enzo. Um, I would like to ask first if it generated something in the previous three months, the chains of Mister, and if for you is a, a special thing that you were playing in Santiago Bernabeu because of your background in River. Nothing changed because the group is still strong. The mindset is very strong. We'll try to do our best tomorrow. Big match. And what was the other question? Yeah, we know the history from Bernabeu. It's a big stadium. I'm really happy to play here. Very special match. And it's it has beautiful memories for me. 
how you're not afraid, and I don't believe for a minute you are. But um, is this an opportunity for you to show that you are this player that such a large sum of money was spent on? And a chance to show the Chelsea fans this is why the club believed you and backed you to this amount. It's a sum that you had no say in, but one that you have to carry with you. Is this your big chance? No, but... No pressure. I'm going to try and enjoy the match. I don't believe I have to prove anything to anyone. It's just a football match, as I've mentioned before. I'm going to give my best, as I always do. Hello, Anton. Um, how difficult has the last week or so been for, for you and the rest of the players in terms of the amount of managers you've played under? There's three different guys that have picked the team, essentially. And and would you admit that that isn't the ideal preparation for Real Madrid? Obvious within the season, changing coach so often is not easy for anyone. But the group is strong, we're united, and we know what the champions means. So we're mentally prepared to play tomorrow. Hello, Enzo, over here, Diego Plaza from El Tiringuito. In our program, Jorge Alessandro, the Argentinian technician, they find you together with your colleagues from the midfield as a Ferrari. I don't know what you feel about that definition. Is that the way you feel in Chelsea? Well, I always appreciate uh, Jorge. Every time he talks about me, he says wonders. So thank you for all those messages. I would like to say that publicly. But I don't really feel I got to my top level at Chelsea. I've been there for a very few times. It's a different league, different city, different life. So I try to adapt in the best possible way together with my family. And it's not easy to adapt to a new country. But anyway, trying to support my colleagues and everyone to do the best as quickly as possible. Hi, Enzo. Um, I wanted to ask you, Frank Lampard said that you're uh, potentially a leader for the future. Did you come here to be a leader and, and sort of bring that personality on the pitch because some people say maybe Chelsea lacks some leadership? Why not? Well, thank you. I always dream to be a leader because when I started my roots in football, I was always wanted to be kind of an example or to be a leader and to help my colleagues, to be there for them and to be defined like that, being so young, um, makes me really proud. So I would like to thank Frank for his words and always try to give the best of myself and to be an example for everyone. Thanks, guys. Finish. Thank you. Gracias.